Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Trudy here and if you are new to my channel, welcome and don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now today we are reviewing a wig from MyFirstWig.com. Now this is a company that specializes in quality wigs, especially for beginners. I'm definitely a beginner myself, so let's just put that out there now jumping right into the box it comes with this cute pouch that gives you all the necessities that you need to make your wig application as easy as possible now first you get an instruction manual that pretty much tells you all the details about your hair and how to take care of it you get a ragtail comb you get some bobby pins you get a elastic band that's going to help you to secure your wig a little bit more if you need it. And you also get two clips that I will definitely be using even when I don't have a wig on because who don't need one of these? You also get a wig cap and I like the fact that they gave me two. The color of the cap is okay. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I like the fact that you get two. But the bonus is the fact that you get a wig stand. Now my wigs... Are all over the place and this is gonna help me to be a little bit more organized so I really really appreciate that another little bonus is this ziplock bag that your wig comes in now I think this is gonna come in handy when you're traveling so your wig doesn't get knotted or you know lint all over it I'm gonna start off with the wig cap yes it's not the cutest but let's just start the tutorial so I'm pretty much gonna start off by looking like I'm going to a swimming competition and um, this is the stocking cap and this is the color um, it looks pretty nice I can't really complain I don't know if it's coming up a little bit too reddish or not I am gonna put a little bit of foundation on it so now going into the bag you always want to smell the hair now I didn't co-wash this hair or anything like that I'm just taking it straight out of the bag onto my head now the net is extremely big which it came like doubled or tripled which i like that i probably keep this for holding another wig so here is the wig straight out of the bag it smells good it looks good but this is what the lace looks like pretty transparent or natural looking i should say it comes with two clips, one on the left, one on the right, a clip in the back. And it also has adjustable straps in the back. Put it on, just to line it up to see where I want everything to lay. The texture is silky. The hair length is 10 inches and the color is a natural hair color. The circumference is, is 21 to 22. The cap construction is a lace front. So I look kind of crazy. It needs to be flattened and all of that. Ah, without adjusting anything, cutting anything, clipping anything in, it feels very snug and secure on my head. I must say that. Now I'm not, I don't think I like this whole stocking cap. Cause you can see it. I don't know if I should bring it back. Let's just bring it back a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit, that's better, right? Okay, let's clip the back in and then. So the side clips aren't able to go into the my hair because I have on the stocking cap. So it's just gonna have to stay like that for now. But as I said, it feels very secure. Like I can move it, it's not going anywhere. I look crazy, but it's well secure. So now I'm just gonna pull this back to clip the hair out of my face. Now I really, really like the fact that you get a comb, especially a comb with this metal handle that comes in very handy when laying down your frontal. So the scissors I'm gonna use is this very small detail. What is this? This is a tweezer man. This is for like your cuticle or something like that. I'm not quite sure what this is for, but it's very small and I'm just gonna take my time and trace the edge of the lace so I'm going to cut it up from the center first and then do one half and then the other just so that it's better I feel like it's better when you work in section than just trying to do this the whole thing all at once you want it to like follow the grooves and curves of 
your natural hair so as you can see I could probably take off a little bit more right there so this is one side done already and the hairline looks very natural it could use a little bit more plucking now one thing I'm noticing is that I feel like the knots could be bleached they look a little dark I don't know if you guys can see that but they're a little dark so maybe when I have some free time I think I will bleach the knot from what I can see they're not bleached oh they have lace on the back also so I gotta cut that off now I kind of want to have this unit on for at least four days so I think I want to go with the bow hold I have the option of using the got to be which looks like this and you also have the got to be in the black tube which this like is more transparent and then the bow hold now the bow hold out of all three gives me the most hold for the longest um the got to be glue if i get in the shower and the steam and all that it's just gonna come right off so we're not gonna go, go that route okay guys so i had to i went ahead and i did one side this side um off camera because i wanted to make sure that i know what the hell i'm saying um so this side is done and this is what it looks like so the bow hold got it holding pretty tight i'm not gonna drag it too much because then you know i want that glue to set completely use one of these wooden spoon thing you know they use these like at the waxing salons yeah get you a couple of these i put a little bit of glue on the top i'm just gonna trace my hairline glue should look like this and now I'm going to put the lace back down make sure there's no folds in it so this is where your metal comb come in handy you just want to press it down like just run it between the hair and like circle motion just to make sure that it's being secured okay she looks good should I do baby hair now I think this is the part you do baby hairs every time I do baby hairs I <laughs> I end up balding out my frontal. Comment below if the same thing happens to you. I'm still learning, so that's that. Little baby hair there. So I just grab a couple strands like that. And then I just cut. Like in a jagged way. Never a straight blunt cut because then your baby hairs will look like baby bangs not baby ears so to curl this hair i'm using this bellamy um nicole guerrero collaboration kit um i did have a review on this so i'll link it in icards if you want to check it out it's a very 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 good curling iron and we're going to turn it up to the highest temperature okay let's start with the front Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. All right, we're getting somewhere. Now it's looking alive. It does flat iron nicely, though. I give it that. The hair is, the hair itself is gorgeous. I just think, on me personally, it makes me look older and maybe i have to do like a half up half down yeah see something like that would be a little bit cuter but completely down nope you bring it all the way in your face like that so the model i see they wear it all the way on their face like this which maybe that's a little bit better mm. okay so i think this hair you have to be like prepped up you know nice flowy top or a nice sexy dress back out kind of vibe very sophisticated look this is not like for like a t-shirt kind of day 
I mean, you can if you want to, you can do whatever you want. There aren't any rules. But I think this is for like the everyday going to work kind of hairstyle. A bob just gives you that feel automatic. I'm just going to do a little spin so that you guys can see the back because I realized I haven't shown you the back. I definitely feel a little bit older. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you want to see more wig or hair reviews, leave a comment below. Okay guys, so I realized I didn't do a proper outro. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video again. And I'll leave the information on where you can purchase this wig. Feel free to check out their website. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you in my next one.